welcome to another episode today is memorial weekend saturday we had a major cold front roll in the high today is only 57 damn degrees <laughs> 57 in the end of may and me and virgil is gonna run a trot line and we're gonna set out 12 limb lines with sunfish and bullheads and we're gonna bass fish and we're gonna catfish with poles so stay tuned hopefully this cold front did not turn the fish off just seen a guy he said he caught some and obviously we caught some because we had to get bait to come here and we had no problem getting bait so uh, we just got to find the spots of the lake that's out of the wind and we found a spot right here if nothing else later it's a little bit out of the wind and we're gonna go set our trot line first and then set our limb lines and then go lure fishing while they're having a chance to set there for a few hours and then we're gonna bobber fish toward the evening all right i'll turn back on later on i mean sometimes they still will but that has a really good ratio of those do oh, oh. oh man <laughs> Is he still on there? I don't know. Oh man, I think he got off. We gotta sit here and watch, I guess. He came out of water like a bowfin, yeah, it looked yeah, like. He actually kind of looked Look, like that's a That's what I thought, too. Oh my God, that was cool to see. Yeah, it was. He was about four or five pounds, but I think he got off too, it looks like. He'd still be pulling if it, damn. Well, hopefully my bait is still on there. Yeah, I know it's like, should you go check both? Yeah. You got bait? Oh, I know. Damn, that was two in what? Yeah. It took a half an hour, but man, it turned on all of a sudden. I don't know. I have a bad feeling he robbed it. Cool, and alive. Oh shit, did it break it? It sure made a noise. Oh my God. Hey, I got a new bait and he's a double if I had to. <laughs> So what do I got seven in there or was it 11? I can't remember, do you? I'm gonna have to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we got eight. Oh yeah, we got 11 because I considered three of them to be doubles. So now we got 12. We got enough for every limb line again. But I want a little more. I want at least six more. I'd say six. now changed my hook instantly started hooking them but the way things are looking I won't need them but you never know I mean they might take off at night if they were biting earlier I just don't understand why they quit like that though strange it's all right but man it caught on something I guess yeah push us real hard We'll get past this, we'll be all right. <laughs> hey guys, new new lesson. If you ever lose your paddle, the dip net works. <laughs> when all else fails.
It didn't sound too bad either, did it? Sounded pretty damn loud. Man, I don't know if he's on there. It was a minute ago though, wasn't it? I wonder, we need to go, well, I don't want to drop the poles off yet because it ain't even dark. Or else we'll just be sitting there in between. Guys, we got a limb line splashing as we speak. He just splashed again. He just splashed again. Where's our trot line? Oh, okay, yeah, it's still got one on it too. Is he splashing yet? Over here. Yep, he's on there, man. Yes. Alright guys, we finally got one that stayed on it looks like. Yeah, I see the line going diagonal still. Pretty soon we're going to have to go take our damn poles. It's pulling that branch pretty good actually. We finally, we are one for seven guys. One for seven. Oh man, he's big. Yes, he's pretty good sized, man. They don't understand what we're even doing. Oh man, look how hard he just pulled that branch, man. I just heard another one right there. Do you see it? No, the next one over. Holy shit. Hope he stays on since we're already here. That's definitely not the bait. I can tell you, look how hard he's pulling down. That's a good six, seven pounder or bigger. Oh man, that's a nice one. Yes. Nice channel cat. All right guys, he's about He's about seven or eight pounds. What I'll do, I'll pull the pliers. I'll get the, I'll get him out with the pliers, and then I'll rebate it, and then we'll just throw him in the cooler. And I may film you holding it and me holding it. Oh, oh it's one of them circle hooks, man. Yeah, they're hard to get out, but yeah, they are. You no, know he ain't going nowhere. Oh. Them fucking morons. Yeah, that pisses me off. <clears throat> what do you think? This one, man? Something like that. Work. Not bad. <sighs> Not bad at all. Oh, this is one of them with a tiny eye on it, though. Fucking hard to get. Real hard to get the hook through it. Or the line through it, I mean. putting glow sticks, put our poles on the bank, and yeah, it's almost eight o'clock. We better get the glow sticks going. Well, I hope this reaches the water now. Yeah, it still hangs down six inches. I got lucky. Well, we got her, and we know we got one on the trot line. You don't have to dip net them, but the thing is, if you pull them up, you risk them falling. I, I oh, yeah, it's best to go ahead and net them. Make sure, yeah. Oh, 
That's a big old channel there. That's a big old pregnant female there, guys. I'm going to get this baited up. <coughs> and I might as well go ahead and put the glow stick on it since we're here. I'm going to put a little one on here and the rest I'm going to start cutting in half. We have no choice. I'm going to have to cut the rest of all of them. <coughs> yeah, it's a little short, huh? It hangs in six inches, though. All right, now I got to get my glow sticks out. All of them, or at least four at a time. Let's see, I can put these away. I don't need regular hooks anymore. Six inches, but Daniel Cat here, guys. Yeah, look at that belly. It is a big pregnant one. He might go in eight or nine pounds, actually. You want? Yeah, just do it like that. It's a big channel, man. Heck yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna go take our poles to the bank. Put, start putting glow sticks on the limb lines checking them rebate them and I'm gonna have to start using cut bait now unfortunately I didn't want to if we would have just caught five or six more bluegill we wouldn't have had to use cut bait at all real quick oh man he's really pulling that branch that's a big one it's a hard one to get in, isn't it? Oh my. Yeah, small. Dang. He's smaller than the first one. He's only about three pounds, I think. Unless my eyes are deceiving me. Yeah, he's a little guy. I'm hoping it's a flathead, though. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That ain't bad. Bigger than I thought. He's five. Channel, yeah. Okay, it's going to be hard to get some pliers. That's that damn hook that don't want to come out. Or no, I already cut. You still got the bait, huh? Really? Yep. Huh. I'm glad we got over this one. Well, we ended up with two nice channels, guys. I'll let you take that. Tell you what here it's already recording and just aim it at my breastplate like down in here and it'll show up it won't you won't think it will but it will all right guys another he's about five another female channel cat five pounds on a live bluegill had to cut the hook it could not get it out they are some tough hooks i gotta Keep track of what I'm buying so I can get them again. My goodness. What a beauty. <sighs> mm. Nice channel. Pretty decent. I was really hoping for big split headed males, but that's okay. I'm just going to leave that one. Hold that up again. I think with my lamp it shows up better. Should be good. Okay, I'll throw him in the cooler. Just go ahead and open the door and I'll throw 